Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. I'm testing out a four inch micro hydro turbine, which is right here. So the setup is basically water comes out of this pond, goes into the four inch pipe, siphons up over this little rock dam, spins the turbine, goes down the down pipe into a bucket, and then the water just goes out from there. So in today's video, I want to get an open circuit voltage. So basically, the three phase wires right here are gonna be attached to this rectifier. Oh, by the way, this is the excitement we have to come. I've got uh, rectifier, charge controller, dump load, inverter, and then this will be a separate test. This is basically a motorcycle, in, uh, it's a rectifier and a, a limiter circuit. So anyway, three phase will go in there. It'll charge battery up to like 14 volts. Um, but for now, all we're going to use is this right here and the voltmeter. So I'm going to go ahead and get this connected, and then we will see what happens if I hook up the voltmeter to right here and get a voltage. And that's going to be a free spin, basically. So this will be spinning as fast as it can. And then we're going to do two more tests in this video. I have got some four inch to three inch reducers and then a four inch to two inch reducer. And so I will put those reducers on the end of our pipe down here and hopefully we will be able to see a difference in the speed of how fast this thing goes. All right, that's the plan for right now. So let's go ahead and get the shop vac over here. And we're gonna get this started by attaching right down in there, pulling the vacuum and it should pull this thing right over. It's always great when water and electricity mix. I just have the three phase connected here. I'm not gonna do anything else with this because I'm about to take it back off, but for now, it is gonna come up here to this rectifier and that's where we'll get our voltage readout here. And just like last week, we found out that this thing needs a little touch to get going. And that siphon will increase pretty quick down there. Very cool. All right. Let's go to negative over here and positive. All right, looks like about 45 volts on the open circuit. That's pretty awesome. Cool. And that's with about a a three foot or so down pipe wide open. So the next thing I want to do is add those two reducers. Let's do the three inch and then the two inch and we'll see if that number decreases any. But it's quite consistent, which is good. Looks like a jet engine. I'll bring the camera closer next time so you can hear it just suck that water real quick. So with a straight pipe, four inch down into the bucket, it's got an open circuit voltage of 45 volts. So I'm thinking now we're gonna reduce from four inch to three inch, and it is gonna extend this a little further in the bucket. I don't know if that affects it too much or not. We'll see what the voltage is, and then we'll come back and do a two inch and see what it does. And I will probably come back later with the uh, system running to a battery and do this test again to see if the well, wattage is different. Well, wow. <laughs> I'm going to put this in here real quick and see what happens. 
I've had this watch for 15 years. I'm not sure if it's waterproof anymore. There is a lot less water coming out of this bucket. Okay, let's see what that reducer from four inch to three inch does. We'll let that spin up and get the air out. Any difference? Yes, 36.9, 37. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm thinking that has pretty well reached the max speed. So 37 and a half is the highest I've seen so far. Okay, well yes, yeah, so it looks like that will reduce the power by reducing that uh, four inch to three inch, which was anticipated. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can get you to hear that uh, jet engine noise. Uh. Oh, come off of there. Man, this thing really sucking on there, huh? I like that, pretty cool. Okay, let's reduce it down to two inch. Okay, so reducing from four inch to three inch dropped it by about, uh, well, eight volts or so. So what are your predictions on when we drop down to two inch? Is it gonna be like 15? My assumption is around 20, 27. So let's go with. So much easier than trying to fill it from the top. Once again, I feel like it is using a lot less water, which is to be expected. Get this thing started. It's going a lot slower now. I think it'll speed up a little when that air gets out of there. Man, that's going real slow. Yikes. 10 volts. I was way off. Okay, remember this is unloaded, so there's 13.4, 0.5. I'm gonna assume that by now, there is no more air being sucked up from our intake here. And we've got 13.8, 13.9. There's, I saw a 14. So 14, I don't know, probably not enough to charge anything once it's got a load on it. All right, so we know that we shouldn't go below a two, uh, a three inch. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and see if it's pulling more water than we have coming into the pond. So you can see we've got a decent bit there. And normally that uh, four inch sucks this down dry in about 10 minutes. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes in now, and we still have some water flowing over the rock here, which means we could sustain this with the amount of water that we have coming into this pond. But 
I don't believe that 14 volts will stay 14 under load. It'll probably drop way down below uh, what it will require for a battery to charge. So basically this water source isn't going to be enough to keep this unit going and charge a battery. So uh, that being the case, we have learned some fun information. Uh, 45 volts open circuit straight pipe and that's probably what most of our testing will be around <clears throat> for the rest of the video because we have enough water in here to run this thing for at least 20-30 minutes before it drops below our intake and I could always increase that um, depth a little bit more to get some more time but for the next video I believe what we're going to do is hook up a battery to the charge controller it's got a dump load over here and so this rectifier will be bringing the three phase in it'll give the charge controller dc which will read the battery charge the battery and once that's full it will provide a dump load over here to a 100 watt bulb and we can hook up this to the battery and pull off some kind of load i don't know a light bulb or something and we'll be able to see how many watts this thing is producing while it's charging up that battery so anyway i hope you have found this super easy test helpful or at least entertaining and be sure to subscribe because i have more content like this on the way if you haven't already check out my tools tech and gear channel link in the description down below it's my second channel where i am doing some product reviews and it's pretty fun so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye I just pulled the intake to stop everything and it did not quite have a full pipe of water so the siphon never started in full and I guess that's why the reduction in power was so great. I'm not entirely sure how to get that pipe full unless a two inch is just not enough to pass that kind of water. Anyway, we'll be sticking with four inch and then three inch from now on.